So, some of you guys asked me if I could play German vehicles. And considering the last German vehicle I played was the Puma, I felt like the Beglight was an obvious choice. Now, a lot of people think that the Beglight wasn't very good before. It got probably the biggest buff I've ever seen a vehicle get. Like, in a single update, it got a stabilizer. It got its turret traverse speed increased. It had its ammo count, I think, doubled. And I believe it has a better engine now, too. So it went from being pretty good in my eyes to being the second best IIV in the game. The only thing that beats it is the BMP-2M, which is just overpowered. I think the Beglite can now work at any BR you put it at, pretty much. Sorry if I sound a bit groggy, I literally just woke up and decided to record a video. Even if you can't kill something frontally, if you shoot the barrel once or twice with the cannon, it will break the barrel, so they can't retaliate. I will say, though, that German teams at this BR are not the greatest. Ah. Uh, excuse me? Yeah, I really wish this game <laughs> worked. Because that was just, like... Did he activate his active protection system that just broke the server the minute my missile fired? I think it is worth mentioning that this thing works a lot better on city maps than... On other areas. What is that? Oh, I can't pen it, whatever it is. Oh, it's a chieftain. Here, a helicopter. Okay. Like, I think it's a bit stupid that this thing got three or four buffs all at the same time in one update, and it didn't go up preemptively. Like, it just stayed at the same BR. Like, usually something will get a buff, and it'll immediately go up before anyone's even played it, because they just preemptively think it'll be too strong. But with the bug light, they were just like, yeah, just give it, you know, a stabilizer, a ton of ammo, and a much better turret traverse rate, it'll be fine. I swear, this game is programmed to read your mind and give you the exact opposite of what you want. Yeah, the proxy on this is uh, quite strong, to say the least. Pierre Spray is rolling in his grave right now. Goodbye. Merkava is very strong. And I don't feel like dealing with that right now. That's two down. Yeah, when you get a good flank, the Beglite just shreds everything. Did I one-shot that challenger? <laughs> Did we... <laughs> the second one-shot. I'm not even aiming. I feel like we're probably gonna die here in like two seconds. Our team is, uh, struggling a bit. I'm trying to play this smart. Yeah, like I said, teams at this BR are not very good. There is joy to be had in simply just looking at an enemy and melting them with an autocannon. Hope that no one's paying attention here. That dude's reaction time. Oh, it's you. What? I do think it's a bit funny that when Volumetric first came out, I was like, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of it. I think it makes the game worse. And everyone jumped on me for it. And now everyone pretty universally agrees that it's not a great mechanic as is. Like, it could be fine if they changed some of the ways that it functions, but they just don't. 
I wish I had as much input in the game as people think I do. You think if that was actually how that worked, maybe the HSTVL would be a bit different? Or that Russian tanks wouldn't just magically not create spall? Yeah, that's the quality of German teammates. I hate the BMP-2M so much. It's actually hard to describe. There is just so much Russian IFV spam. I love just being able to fire from the hip like that. It is so much fun. Jesus, that took a lot of hits. Yeah, I know I wasn't exactly aiming, but still. I hear a helicopter somewhere. Sorry, teammate. Yeah, I think they're pretty much just being spawn cam now. Yeah, this is this is just a bit of a one-sided match, I think. Almost have enough for a nuke. So yeah, the Beglite is a very strong IFV. Like even stock, it is pretty amazing. Because let's be honest, most of the things you can kill with an Ito, you can kill with a toe. The gun is the main draw of the thing. It's a shame that I didn't get more city maps, but still, I think we we probably averaged around four kills. Per match so that's pretty good anyway if you have uh, suggestions for vehicles you want me to play leave them in a comment as always i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you on the next one